welcome to another exciting episode of Career Transition Series, where we dwell into inspiring stories of individuals who have successfully made remarkable leaps in their professional journey. I'm your host, Arka Priya, and today we have an extraordinary guest who took a bold step towards a new career path after completing a course from Edureka. Joining us today is Ms. Navamita Ghoshal, who embarked on a transformative journey. So without further ado, let's warmly welcome Ms. Navamita Ghoshal. My name is Navamita Ghoshal. So currently I'm working as a full stack developer, and but I want to take a step ahead and uh, have a transition to machine learning and artificial intelligence world. Because... Uh, when we see to the future, we know that uh, everything which is coming up to us is all about data. And uh, this is the path which can uh, take us to have a great career to, in that direction. Career transition is not a difficult task and a decision, but it is also a very difficult decision to take. So how did you plan it? Or when did you realize that you need to make a career transition? So um, I think... Uh, that thought came to me in the late 2018 or in the early uh, 2019 when I was hearing this buzz from my colleague friends that uh, we should try to explore the machine learning thing. We should try to explore that. But uh, I didn't have much idea what it is all about. And uh, yeah, then I had this thought that uh, since this IT industry is like uh, very volatile, keeps changing every time and like uh, so I had this thought that uh, since I, I have now 11 years of experience I can see maybe I'll work for maybe 20 to 30 years more so I should uh, land up to a career where I can work for more like uh, next 20 years where whatever things will new things will come up it will be around that and uh, Yes, the most important thing about uh, this machine learning and AI thing that uh, it definitely uh, can uh, take you to a position, to a job which, which will definitely going to pay you well. Can you tell us about the key skills or the knowledge that you have gained from this AIML uh, course? So honestly, the key skill which I didn't had earlier, if I talk about that, Python was something I never worked on mm -hmm. and uh, using Python to create the models like mm -hmm. uh, in the different machine learning models and mm -hmm. what they actually mean. So those things I have learned only when I have gone through this course and uh, like we say there are so many things in AI but what are the different areas of AI which uh, which are there which in in what all different platforms where AI is getting used in whatever way all those mm -hmm. things I have learned and I've, I'm now I'm able to visualize that okay that is how AI is going to implement here why did you choose Edureka as your learning partner okay so I was exploring multiple platforms uh, mm -hmm. before I like decided to go with Edureka but the best thing which uh, helped me a lot to take the decision is that uh, uh, the person who has approached me, mm -hmm. uh, they had helped me with uh, the contact points of a uh, lot of alumni. Uh, mm -hmm. And they, it was not like uh, those who are pursuing it. They have provided with me, me with the contact number of those who are already pursuing, those who have uh, like recently joined and those who have already completed it. Mm -hmm. And with the different kind of backgrounds, not everyone was having the same background as me. So mm -hmm. I uh, had a word with them individually and I took a feedback from them. So, so that helped me a lot to decide that, okay, I can go ahead with Edureka to like continue with uh, all this course. And one of the very major factors, like... Uh, I have explored multiple options uh, which were providing the same kind of thing like the postgraduate diploma thing with a university associated with them like as a partner mm -hmm. and uh, but the fee structure 
if we talk about it, Edureka was having very reasonable fee structure. How has your experience been with Edureka while you took the course? So, uh, when on the first day of the class, when our instructor uh, joined us and uh, like he introduced himself to us, and uh, his educational and professional background is like it is also very sound. Like he is a PhD holder and like I found that almost all the instructors who had taken up the class, uh, like I think we have uh, uh, like in the beginning, the instructor who has started and for one or two classes, there were some other instructors, but everyone I found that they have very sound technical background. They are uh, in a very good position, which is aligned to this industry all already like from the data science industry already so they are working for uh, i think more than 10 years in the same industry so their practical knowledge is also up to a level uh, like beyond the level honestly so what feature in this program did you find the most helpful uh first of all the class structure and uh, uh, the way that whole course was designed uh, it was uh, bifurcated into the relatable modules mm -hmm. and after every module we have a test mm -hmm. for uh, checking our knowledge level in that area so that was one of the best thing which like I have learned something I should be able to test how much I have uh, understood about it or not what challenges did you face during your career transition and how did you overcome these uh, these challenges like honestly uh, if i talk about challenges so my experience level is definitely a challenge because 11 years of experience into uh, into something cannot be like uh, hidden overnight and that should not be hidden and uh, this is an entirely different uh, thing which i want to pursue but yes mm, like to do that to achieve that i have done multiple things like uh, which was definitely explained to me by my instructor in the class day. He used to give us all those tips that uh, that what all different projects we have worked in the class. Other than that, what all projects we should also work. There are uh, some other uh, certifications like the TensorFlow certification, which uh, we should try to get. That also gives us like a uh, a value in the global market because that is a globally known certification and uh, like working on certain projects and how to highlight them in your resume which is uh, one of the thing uh, one of the key thing so that's how that these are the things which i am doing and like i continue to do for uh, the career transition so what was your initial apprehension before joining this course so uh, in the beginning, I had this doubt that uh, whether uh, the content which I'll get will be good enough for me on me to not uh, to understand the whole machine learning concept or not, or uh, whether the instructors which I'll get, they will able to explain things or not. Uh, means uh, I, like I was coming with a mindset like how we went to school, whether the teacher will able to teach us or not so all those perspectives it changed like uh, after i completed my first module of python and it helped me understand that the in, even the instructor and the content is also good many people think about career transitions but they are not able to achieve it so why do you think people are not able to achieve or do the career transition if we thought about like whenever we are not able to make the career transition, uh, there can be the multiple reasons that uh, maybe the the time we do the career transition, market trends get changed. And uh, the transition which we are trying to make, it uh, no longer holds that much value. So that can be one of the situation and uh, it and in that process we also lose the motivation we need to plan our whole career transition like uh, we need to understand what are skills we need to acquire how we need to acquire we can't keep uh, learning the things like our learning curve can't uh, 
can't be very long can't uh, go for an infinite period of time it needs to be concluded in a given frame of time and uh, we need basically we need to do the right things at right time so then only will able to make that uh, career transition we what would be your suggestion to our subscribers who are watching this stream and how should they start their journey for their career transition so first of all uh, before starting something i think the main thing which we should think uh, why we need this if we don't have that answer of why we need this because i tried the same thing uh like why i should uh, get into this why i should learn this if uh, that question you have answered yourself then then you will able to plan the things in a better way because uh, that answer of why will set your goal and after that you will able to plan like how to get that and uh, and after you have this uh, answer of how i will able to learn these things you will able to find the right resources right content right uh, instructors and with that approach you will able to start your learning journey is there anything else you would like to share with our audience about your experience with edreka and also your career transition journey uh so the thing which i would like to appreciate is the support team that was really very helpful if you raise any concern or any ticket it gets addressed uh, as soon as possible and uh, and if we are not getting any resolution just by raising a ticket it is uh, like people are also accessible through the call if, like there is always someone who address you and who look into your ticket and help you out with that and other than that uh, like we were provided with one to one mentor who uh, help you particularly with your issues in throughout the learning journey so with that we come towards the end of this uh, of another enlightening episode of our career transition series thank you nobunita for joining us today and dear subscribers don't forget to tune in next time for more captivating stories and invaluable insights until then stay motivated and keep learning goodbye